This beautiful architectural treasure has been a mainstay of our showroom for a few years now, but it's time for a change. The shop crew has been tasked with dismantling it to transport it to a local museum. So Cam, what is it? It's a bank entrance. It used to house an ATM machine inside. It's gonna be on display at the Todman Museum of Art. So we're gonna peel the skin back, release the cleats that's holding this top arched piece onto the, um, the base. And hopefully that's all we gotta take apart in order to separate the two. But who knows? <laughs> Zach, predictions? I got five dollars that says it's not coming up the first time. I'll get it on that. <laughs> five dollars, that ain't worth it. It's not worth the effort. <laughs> I mean, you go a couple of like a C note or something, and we'll start talking. I think we're gonna be very successful today. I think we're gonna get it all, or at least taken down. I know John's doing good, so. I'm just taking I'm, screws out. I'm really just dependent <laughs> on him. The Taubman Museum of Art here in Roanoke is featuring internationally renowned artist Hunt Slonem in an upcoming exhibit set to premiere October 24th. Hunt was given a tour of our store this past February by our resident paint expert, Swoos Hudson, because he was looking for items to add to his Hunttopia exhibition. He was drawn immediately to this arched bank entrance and worked out a deal with Mike and Robert so he could incorporate it into his show. So here we are, the, uh, the next uh, part of our big move today, which is the bank uh, arch, getting ready to be loaded up to one of our big trucks and go to the Taubman Museum where it's gonna be used in an exhibit with Hunt Slonem. And uh, we're just donating it to that, to that particular effort. So it's gonna be kinda cool. And then once it's done, it's available for you guys to pick up again and take it to a wedding venue near you. Now that we have all this space cleared in our showroom, you'll just have to pay us a visit to see what treasures we've put in its place. 